Hello everyone, this is Teacher Rocky and welcome again to our YouTube channel. For today's video, we will give some drills for our agriculture and fishery arts majors. This set of questions contains correct answer with rationalization. So if you want to try this drills, get a piece of paper and pen. Let's check if you can get a perfect score. Let's start to question number one. What is the name of the enzyme found in pineapples that can help to break down proteins? A. Bromelain B. Papain C. Physin D. Actinidin Correct answer is letter A. Bromelain. Bromelain is an enzyme found in pineapples that can help to break down proteins. It is used in the food industry as a meat tenderizer and also in medical field for reducing inflammation and swelling. Question number two. You are planning to breed a female goat for the first time. What is the best way to ensure a successful pregnancy? A. Allow the goat to mate naturally with a male goat. B. Use artificial insemination to inseminate the goat. C. Administer a hormonal treatment to bring the goat into heat. D. Both A and B. Correct answer is letter D. Both A and B. Both natural mating and artificial insemination can be used to breed female goats, and the choice depends on factors such as genetics, cost, and availability of a suitable male. Question number three. The maintenance of static or constant conditions in the internal environment of the body? A. Homeotherms. B. Luteinizing hormone. C. Hearth girth. D. Homeostasis. The correct answer is letter D, homeostasis. Homeostasis is the maintenance of static or constant conditions in the internal environment of the body. This process involves the regulation of various physiological variables such as body temperature, blood pressure, and blood glucose levels, among others, within a narrow range of values that are compatible with life. Homeostasis is achieved through a variety of mechanisms, including feedback control systems that sense changes in the internal environment and initiate appropriate responses to restore the normal conditions. Homeotherms are organisms that maintain a relatively constant body temperature, regardless of the external environment. Luteinizing hormone is a hormone produced by the pituitary gland that plays a key role in the regulation of the reproductive system. Hearth girth is a measurement of the circumference of the chest of an animal, typically used as an indicator of body size or weight. Question number four. A process of destroying most disease-producing microorganism and limiting fermentation in milk got odor liquids by heating a foodstuff. A. Homogenization. B. Pasteurization. C. Vaporization. D. Litter. The correct answer is letter B. Pasteurization. Pasteurization is a process of heating a foodstuff, such as milk or other liquids, to a specific temperature for a set amount of time in order to destroy most disease-producing microorganisms and limit fermentation. The process is named after Louis Pasteur, who developed the technique in the 1860s as a way to preserve wine. Pasteurization helps to increase the shelf life and safety of food products by reducing the number of harmful bacteria, yeasts, and molds that may be present. Homogenization is a process of reducing the size of fat globules in milk. 
or other dairy products to create a more uniform texture. Vaporization refers to the process of converting a liquid or solid substance into a vapor or gas through the application of heat or other energy. Litter refers to a group of offspring born to an animal during a single parturition event. Question number 5. The complete cycle of the movement of the legs at any of the gates of the animal? A. Stride. B. Strain. C. Stud. D. Stag. The correct answer is letter A. Stride. A stride is the complete cycle of movement of the legs at any of the gates of the animal. The stride includes the time from when a foot leaves the ground and returns to the same position, and it is typically measured in terms of the distance traveled by the animal during this time. A strain refers to a particular genetic line within a breed or species. A stud is a male animal used for breeding purposes, and a stag is a male deer that has shed its antlers. Question number 6. A severe reaction that occurs some individual following introduction of antigens into their bodies? A. Anabolic. B. Anabolism. C. Allergy. D. Allergen. The correct answer is letter C. Allergy. An allergy is a hypersensitive immune response to a substance that is typically harmless to most individuals. When an allergen a substance that triggers an allergic reaction enters the body of a susceptible individual, it can cause a severe immune response that results in symptoms such as itching, hives, swelling, and difficulty breathing. Anabolic and anabolism refer to the process of building up molecules in the body, while allergen is a substance that can cause an allergic reaction. Question number 7. Environmentally and genetically determined observable appearance of an organism? A. Phenotype. B. Genotype. C. Genome. D. Puberty. The correct answer is letter A. Phenotype. Phenotype refers to the observable physical and biological characteristics of an organism at result from both its genetic makeup and its interaction with the environment. The phenotype is determined by the expression of genes in response to environmental factors, such as diet, temperature, and exposure to toxins, among others. The phenotype includes all observable traits, from physical appearance to behavior and physiological processes. Genotype refers to the genetic makeup of an organism, while the genome refers to the complete set of genetic material in an organism. Puberty, on the other hand, refers to the period of sexual maturation during which an individual develops the ability to reproduce. Question number 8. A roughage of high feeding value. A. Silage. B. Forage. C. Silage. D. Stud. The correct answer is letter B. Forage. Forage is a term used to describe any type of vegetation that is grown or harvested for feeding to livestock typically ruminant animals such as cows, sheep, and goats. Forages can include a variety of grasses, legumes, and other plants that are high in fiber and provide nutrients for the animals. Forage is a roughage of high feeding value because it contains a high proportion of fiber, which is an essential component of the ruminant diet. Silage is a type of preserved forage that is stored in a silo and allowed to ferment before being fed to animals. Silage is a method of feeding livestock, where freshly cut green forage is harvested and fed to animals while they are confined in a barn or stable. Stud is a term used to refer to a male breeding animal, such as a stallion in the case of horses. Question number 9. Which of the following is a common disease in sheep caused by a parasitic worm? A. Foot and mouth disease. B. Anthrax. C. Jones disease. D. Hemonchysis.
Correct answer is letter D. Hemonchysis. Hemonchysis is a common disease in sheep caused by a parasitic worm called Hemonchus contortus, which can lead to anemia and weight loss in affected animals. Question number 10. This is wrapping the carcass with cheesecloth. A. Shrouding. B. Scraping. C. Flaying. D. Scalding. Correct answer is letter A. Shrouding. Shrouding refers to the act of wrapping a carcass with cheesecloth. This step is commonly used in meat processing to protect the meat during aging and to maintain its shape. The cheesecloth helps to absorb any moisture and prevents the surface of the meat from drying out, which can affect its flavor and texture. It also helps to keep the meat clean and hygienic, as the cheesecloth acts as a barrier between the meat and any bacteria or contaminants in the environment. This is the end of this drill. Share your score in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe so you will be updated to our next video. Thank you for watching.